Hey guys, today I am filming a video about my favorite blushes from summer. So I'm just going to jump right into it. I made a post on this on my blog a long time ago. Um, I just never got around to making a video. So I will post that below, which has, you know, more details and pictures of swatches and stuff. So I'm just going to jump right into it. And um, I have a good mix of high end and drugstore blushes here. And some are discontinued. The ones I'm about to show you are discontinued. Um, Yes, a few of mine are discontinued, but if you look online on eBay or Amazon, you'll be able to find them really easy. And the first are the NYC Blushable Cream Sticks. I have heard so much about these on YouTube, so I knew I had to pick them up. And the first one I have is Plaza Pink, which is like a really pretty shimmery pink color. You can see this right here. It's really pretty. And... These blend so easily on the cheeks. I just swipe them on and blend up my finger. And I think I paid like $4 for this. I heard that some people found them at their um, Dollar Trees. So definitely check there and see if you have them. But um, I got mine off eBay. And next is Big Apple Blush. These are the two shades that were talked about the most on YouTube. So I knew that they were worth picking up. And here is the shade right here big apple blush and that's plaza pink i really really recommend those they're so easy to blend and they're they're great for travel and the next are another discontinued blushes um these are the milani minerals blushes and i have two shades i have luminous which is very 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 similar to nars orgasm and it's just a gorgeous um, PG pink color with a nice gold shimmer to it. And like I said, I'm going to post my review down below, which has swatches. I'll try to show you swatches now, but I'm not going to guarantee that they'll be good. So here is this one right here. I'm sorry. These swatches aren't very good. Okay. Anyway, this blush is awesome. It's very, very pigmented, and there's a lot in here. And I would look this up online. And the other one I have is in Mai Tai, which is a bright pinkish red. And this is a matte finish. Uh, you can see it here. It's very pretty. And this is if you're going for more dramatic cheek. And Emily Noel83 talks about this all the time, which is why I had to pick it up. Right here is the swatch of that one. Okay, and I'll keep going with my drugstore blushes. And the next one is the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Candy Coral, which just looks like this. This is a really, really pretty peachy coral color. And this is a blush that I wear um, to work because it is pretty sheer. But yeah, it does give some nice color. And these blushes have gotten, either people love them or they hate them. And these work well if you get my shade and darker. Um, the lighter shades do not show up very well unless you have dark skin. They'll show up good on you. But, um, or fair skin they'll probably show up. But medium skin and they won't work. So, here is this one right here. And this is kind of heavily swatched, but... There it is right there, which is very pretty. And these are very buildable. The next is the Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blush in Coral Reef, which looks like this. This is just in my favorites video. And this is such a nice finish. And it is super bright and pigmented, which is kind of scary. But I actually really like the way that it looks. And I'm wearing it today, and it doesn't look like too much. So it just depends on how you apply it, which I apply it with my fingers personally, because I find that... My stippling brush doesn't work very well in here, and it's the shade right at the top. And I have one more drugstore blush, and then the rest are high end. And I'm sorry, I'm going kind of quickly. If you want to see more in-depth reviews, like I told you, I will leave that below. I have an e.l.f. Studio blush in Candid Coral. This one is talked about a lot on YouTube as well. This is a very, very pretty coral with some gold shimmer, but I would not call this a dupe for NARS Orgasm. Um, but this is very pretty. And like I said, it is three dollars. You can buy it at Target or on EyesLipsFace.com, and it is the um, the gold shimmer in it does not show up 
very much on your skin so it's nothing to worry about and it is right here and this is very pretty three dollars so you can't beat that and these blushes are really pigmented I have one other shade um, for the fall and it's great and they are really good and then I have my high-end blushes and the first one I have uh, the first three I have are from the balm and they are, have such great packaging they're so pigmented the first is hot mama which is a dupe for NARS orgasm this is like either a 95% or 100% according to Tantalia and it is very similar to that Milani blush that I have except a little less golden and more pinky so it's right here you can see this but these are really pigmented and the packaging is a giant for I got it for a, I got this hot mama blush for like um, in a set for ten dollars next one I have is frat boy which is in my favorites as well this is a peachy pink color looks like this next is down boy which is a blue base pink I don't have very many pink blushes so I wanted to have one because I know that maybe not everybody is into coral like I am and it is good to have some variety and it is super pigmented and here is the swatch right there and my last one is Benefit Coralie stuff, which is very beautiful. And this is $28, I know, but it smells great. And it's my go-to blush. And here is the swatch right here. So here is an overview of my swatches. There's the NYC Blushful Cream Sticks. So thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.